In this video I'm going to talk you through a spreadsheet that calculates the gas phase chemical equilibrium constant for a reaction at different temperatures. So the particular example that we're looking at today is steam reforming of methane. So we have CH4 reacting with H2O to give us CO and H2 and that is uh, an equilibrium, it's a reversible reaction. Okay, so what have we got here? Well, the first section is just gathering up the literature values that we're going to need. So we've got the different species, and then we can look up for those the values of the standard enthalpy of formation, the standard um, entropy of formation, the standard Gibbs energy of formation, all at 298.15 Kelvin. And these values come from other worksheets that are shown here um, so we can look those values up there's also values for the heat capacity coefficients so if we come across and look at the heat capacity worksheet we've got cp divided by r equals a plus bt plus ct squared plus dt to the minus two and then we have the values here for these different coefficients for different chemical species so those values all are then needed in order to do the calculations that we want to do. So to calculate the equilibrium constant at 298.15 uh, Kelvin, we first of all need delta H at that temperature. Um, so we basically do the product sum of these different values. So it's the stoichiometric coefficient for methane times by the heat of formation for methane and then we keep doing that for all the species. You'll notice that the reactants have negative stoichiometric coefficients and the products have positive stoichiometric coefficients. That's because the reactants are consumed and the products are formed in the reaction. Okay, so we can continue this. We can do the sum product of coefficients, stoichiometric coefficients times standard values, and that allows us to work out the basically the the reaction value the delta h of reaction the the delta g of reaction and the delta s of reaction now in fact the only value that we really need to get log k at this stage is the delta g we can plug that in with the equation delta g divided by rt um, and put a minus in front of that and that will give us the natural log of k at that temperature Okay, all the equations that are used here are shown on this tab and all the symbols that are used are shown on this tab here. So if you're unsure about anything, you can always come and, and cross-reference and look at things. There's also videos if you want to get further information about the background of any of these concepts. Uh, you can go and watch one of those or all of those. Okay, but what about temperature dependence then? Well, I've selected a number of temperatures that I want to calculate uh, log k at and what we need to do is we need to do an integration where we are using the change in the values for the heat capacity equation for the reaction and we're using the standard value at 298.15. So these delta values are again the sum product of the stoichiometric coefficients and then the values for the heat capacity equation. So it's minus 1 times 1.702 for the methane, then minus 1 times 3.74 and we just keep doing that and add them all up and that's what that function in Excel is doing for us. We do this for the B values, the C values and the D values and this gives us all these deltas. Now these delta values come into this equation here, so equation 9, and it's an integration that we need to do over temperature, and there's a video explaining this in more detail. If you look at uh, this video here, temperature dependence of enthalpy of reaction, you'll get some more background information about this. Okay, so that integration's been done to get from the standard value to the value at 900 Kelvin, it's then been done at 1000, 1100 and 1200. The delta G we can't do through integration. We need to actually do the delta S 
through integration to get the, the value at 900 Kelvin, at the value at 1000, 1100 and 1200. We can then work out delta G at these different values using equation 10. So that's the equation, uh, so that's equation 11 actually that's been used to do that. So um, they just need swapping around. There we go, that's correct now. And then once we have these delta G values, we can then get the log of the equilibrium constant using equation four. So this is equation four here. So it's just minus delta G over RT. So then once we've got these values, we can plot them out. So we can look at log K versus one over temperature and we can get a straight line fit. Back over here, we can also just use slope and intercept function to get those. And then using this formula, this is very simple, very handy. So once we've done all the hard work of calculating all of this, it it boils down to these two simple values that will then allow us to calculate log K at any temperature between 900 and 1200 Kelvin. And then we can use that in our engineering calculations. Okay, so there's some references to where the various equations and data came from um, as well. But overall, that is a walkthrough of this spreadsheet that can be used to calculate gas phase chemical equilibrium constants. And I'll leave a link to this spreadsheet in the description below. So I hope you found that useful. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And thanks very much for watching.